friends. Linda Barnes on the right. Shannon O'Keefe there on the left. And they have you said we got another practice shot. been at this U.S. Open before. Linda was on the show last year in the same position and lost in the opening match in a one-ball roll-off with Carolyn Doran Ballard. And so it was Shannon's choice to let Linda throw the first shot here at Cowboy Stadium. Oh boy and hold are not the words that she wanted to say when she threw the first ball. Some nines are much better than others. <laughs> How would this one rate? Pretty high. Here's your brackets and you see Shannon number four, Linda number five, Liz Johnson, a two-time Open champion number three, Leanne Holsenberg number two, and Kelly Kulik trying to become the first woman in over 40 years to successfully defend her championship awaits them all. And in that title match, I'll tell you about that in a moment. In that title match, if one of the competitors bowls a 300, she will win a million dollars. Our first look tonight at Shannon O'Keefe. High is third place in this event. As low as 10th place, but she's been around the show all throughout the qualifying. Seven-time Team USA member. Sit, sit, sit. And again, that one right across the face. And is it nerves or is it lanes? It's nerves at this point. There's a lot of energy going on. They had to sit while they were going through the introduction, so they didn't get any shots in the last three or four minutes. Uh, and it's not uncommon at all for the very first shot to be two or three inside a target. And both, both players missed that way. Two. Oh, that's a bad break to chop that. So Linda Barnes gets the first advantage. And Chris, explain to everybody what we are bowling on. Well, we're rolling on a 39-foot pattern this week, and it's at 5 to 1. And that means there's five times as much oil in this part of the lane right here as there is on the outside out here. So what that means, the PBA Tour rolls on 3 to 1. That keeps our scores around 220. This week on this 5 to 1, they really took advantage of it. Everyone on the show averaged over 230 this week. Carry. Oh, and a ringing 10 that time for Shannon O'Keefe. You could hear her ask the ball to carry. Really can't complain much about that shot. Shannon has finished second in this championship before. She did so in 2007. And she was sixth at our Queens tournament in Syracuse, just missing the show. This is a great shot here. And watch the six pin. Second one from the left, right around the bottom of the 10. She's got to get on the board with a mark, and she'll able to do that. She is able to do that. So we're still awaiting our first strike, but it's very early on. And again, this environment, we've said it before, we'll say it again. It's unlike anything else. And Chris, take us through the Ebonite keys to victory for Linda. Well, for Linda, a, a lot of what she has to do, she has to get the ball through the front of the lane. She's got to conserve energy. This is a high-friction SPL service surface, and she has to stay to the right, and her ball has to get through clean to save energy so it can drive through the pins. That looked good all the way, and Linda Barnes gets the first strike. And let me be up front for those of you who may not know, Chris and Linda are married. There's a few people who may not know that. And uh, I'll ask you what I asked you before. Would you rather be out there where she is or sitting down talking about it? Well, it's easier to bowl than it is to uh, just talk about it. Here she gets to the right. She's gone with a shiny eruption here, and that ball saves enough energy to go ahead and kick that 10 out. Use stronger balls right now. Of course, you get further left. They run out of energy before the head pinning. You leave flat tens. Come on, ball. Yes. Ball listens very well. If only you listened that well. You'd think I have more training, more, <laughs> more years of opportunity, but it hasn't happened yet. So early pressure on Shannon O'Keefe. What are her keys? Now, Shannon really has to manage her nerves and, and she's a very high energy player. She can use it to her advantage at times, but it can get her in trouble also. And then just shot repetitions. If she repeats well, she has more speed and axis rotation than anyone else in this field. Just missed out. Now when a right hander leaves that pin, what does that mean? It means the ball's hooked too much. Normally a player will have to move about one board left and uh, and keep their eyes around the same to hit the head pin a little bit further to the right. But as you watch, it's going to go a little bit high, right? Right there. And the two pin goes around the four pin, leaving. Spare ball comes through for Shannon. You know, it's an interesting story about both these women. 
I uh, mentioned they, they live in the area, both of them, as well as you know. Uh, but both had sort of fallen out of love with the sport in the last couple of years. And for Shannon, only recently this year, uh, after being feeling she was completely burned on the sport, she sort of rediscovered her faith, and that, she said, has changed her life. And she's had a great year, sixth in the Queens, as we mentioned. She has done well in this tournament in the past, and she makes the show here. And that's a, yeah, there's that light 10 that you talked about. So she is still searching for her first strike, and she's fallen into a 23-pin hole. Well, that's certainly what you have to manage. She she does get around the ball, but what that means is her, she has more axis rotation. It spins more. It goes further down the lane before it makes its move. But even right now, her ball is a little bit too early. It's running out of energy. So Shannon O'Keefe still searching on these brand new lanes at Cowboy Stadium. Linda Barnes with a double has the early advantage in the opening match of the U.S. Women's Open. One. So you see the situation Shannon's in. She began the match with a missed spare and then went four straight single pin spares before striking in the sixth. So that's why she's so far back. Linda Barnes is on form right now. Harry. Yes. Again, 10 straight back. So the issue becomes, has she caught fire too late? ESPN's coverage of Major League Baseball continues on ESPN Sunday and Tuesday night. First on Sunday night baseball at 8 Eastern, both teams that call the city of Los Angeles home take the field when Matt Kemp leads the Dodgers against Torrey Hunter and the Angels. Then catch a National League Central battle Tuesday night at 7 Eastern as Joey Votto and the Reds meet Matt Holliday and the Cardinals. Major League Baseball and ESPN Sunday and Tuesday. Both games are also available online at ESPN3.com. You know, the cat's comparison on Shannon and they and Linda you get a good idea there and you see Linda all the way up through the the board has been very very consistent had one shot in the fourth she missed Shannon's been a little bit more up and down but she's been making adjustments all that time as well so it's not uh, actually it's a very good uh, rep representation Ouch. well that is it. this is the shot that's bit her all through the week she gets a little slow, and her hand rolls around the top of it. And the ball cuts through the heart for the big four. See a little bit more rotation early. It's inside a target. Shannon is able to create so much down lane angle and more than almost any other player in this top five. But it gets her into trouble on that shot right there. Well, even I could see that, that was definitely inside of the target that she had on the previous strikes. Now, Linda Barnes can pretty much put her foot down on this match. Her max at the moment is 269. Yeah. She's in control. That's how you do it. You make sure there are no doors left open. Well, I tell you what, that one looked on purpose. So she's really put together some rhythm. She, she's gotten out of those first the, the two shots out of the commercial break have been the ones that are slow. This one here, great balance of the foul lines here, posting up the shot, perfectly high flush. Maybe a half board high, if anything, she might move just a touch left the next time on that lane. Oh, boy. <laughs> you can hear that she gets the carry. That's the kind of, you won't see a real bowler smile after a shot like that, and obviously Linda qualifies for that. Kathy Doran Lizzie is standing by with uh, Liz Johnson. Looks like Liz is going to be facing Linda Barnes. Well, looking at the scores, it's no surprise that Linda's whacking them, so there's a lot of strikes being thrown. Are you going to change your game plan at all, use the same equipment, or is that intimidating you at all a little bit to change something? As of right now, I'm just going to go on my game plan and use the, the equipment that I use during the week. Uh, just make make a shot, stay aggressive, and stay down, and uh, hopefully the pins fall. Good luck, Liz. Thanks, Kathy. Back to you guys. So Linda Barnes with a brilliant performance to pick up an easy victory, but awaiting her two-time U.S. Open champion Liz Johnson.